So we're back with Code Marvelous's Internet Famous deck. We're up against HB and it's using some cards from Martial Law. I assume the new Fairchild because that is a pretty baller card. Uh, opening hand couldn't be much better, I think. We have lots of draw, we have money. This is definitely a keeper. So we got to get our Houdini out early, I think. And... Hmm, what is this? Hmm, curiouser and curiouser. Well, I think we're going to index here then. Because if they're going to leave R&D wide open, then that's going to be what we have to do. We see beta test and a global food. This is really good for us. So we'll put hasty at the bottom. Um, advanced assembly lines, breaker bay, food and beta test. And now we will run again and see if they have an advanced assembly lines. Okay, that seems like enough time to give them. Ah, they have a Jackson on the board. And we see Architect. Okay. Not a card we wanted to see too early. So did we check this is the question? I th think we have to. If they're going to install a Jackson and a card, it's worth taking a look. Just Adonis. So we can try it now or we can come back. I think we have to just get rid of it now. And then not run into Architect. So at least we've won Jackson gone. Unfortunately, we've lost an indexing in the process. Wasn't expecting them to go like that. Um, this is pretty good. We need one more style credit before we can pressure too much. Um, but we will get our Astrolade down. We will draw one more. Patron. Patron's good. But they may ice up anyway. So I think we just... Laundry while we can, get our money up and running. Uh, we have the Astral Lab for draw, if nothing else. And we'll start with, like, Netmarker. SMC is useful. But one more style credit now to truly get things going. What is happening here? So I'm not entirely sure what kind of shenanigans they are playing. Which makes me a little nervous about stuff. So I may leave that off for the moment. Do I want to get Corroder is the question. I think just the, for the moment... I think for the moment Temujin is the more important one. Um, So they know we have SMC at least. Um, but now we need to get our money up. And this could nearly see us then for the game. Because eventually we'll just start using loads and loads of stealth credits. We won't have to depend on any sort of real thing. Break up a Eve up and running. So maybe we'll use our hard-earned Temujin money to uh, trash this. As expensive as it is. Okay, I'd prefer not to slam into that. So we're going to just draw plenty, get our SMC down, and get clone chip as well. So that will allow us to SMC, use the clone chip again to get it back. And that should get us through the likes of Architect, if that is floating around, or whatever else they happen to have lying in wait for us. The Fairchilds are the scariest ice that uh, they could be packing at the moment. But we are in a better position the more time that goes on. So Switchblade has arrived in hand, which potentially isn't ideal. 
but uh, it could be worse. It means we just have to use our SMC and clone chip, and that gets our full breaker suite. And there's Cloak as well, so everything is coming up roses for us. So we'll hang about and see if they want to use it. Might as well get that free money. And we will pop down the switchblade, pop down the cloak. I suppose we'll take a look at R and D. Start the the minor lock at least. Ugh. And that arrow is all over the place. So architect as we expected. Uh let's draw a card. Another cloak. It's pretty good. And we will boost and break. And we get a Vitruvius for our troubles as well. Pretty tasty. Um, do we want Film Critic is the question. Or do we take a look at Server 5? We need to make sure that there's no Jackson. We also need to make sure we have enough for... Um, yeah, well, whoops. Let's take a look and just see what it is. To Jackson, it's good to clear it out nice and early, and yeah, let's get rid of that because we have indexing good to go again. We do need some style credits to go with it. We have cloak, we have the Nemper curse, so we can get through there again if we want. I think now is a good time to check what archives is. Hopefully get to get ourselves some money. Yeah, Jinteki's interface is all over the place at the moment. So, Fairchild 3 is not going to be that much of a surprise. So we do know that we have to get uh, Houdini ready at some point in time. Oof, that is... That is quite a piece of ice. So, two to get Corroder. And then seven. Or we can just click the brain damage and cut our losses. Um, or we can spend all three clicks, get four credits, draw a card. E Not that exciting, but I think in this instance it's uh, our best option. Dirty Laundry makes things a little better as well. Hunting Ground's probably the least useful in this particular matchup. So we have a Laundry. Um, we don't have a good way of getting in here aside from getting Corroder and paying a ton of money. So I think maybe HQ is the place to, to Laundry. We can get a Corroder, we can afford anything else. Hmm. So instead, <laughs> we are getting clot. Well, obviously we have to run this. 19 credits, they can res quite a lot on us. Two style credits, plus Nightmarker. 
can get our SMC. Yep, we have to take a peek at least. This is going to be giant Fairchild. If only I had the film critic, just in case of any PD. Uh, Ravana, that's not so bad. Um, can click through, can get Houdini. Well, we're going to need it at some point. Um, let's draw a card again. Start barreling through this uh, this deck. Leaves us with just enough in case of any PD as well. Beta test, nice. And we can just take three credits. We can put down a cloak as well. We have no way of getting corroder now is the unfortunate thing. Um, we could laundry, spend two clicks. Let's just take money, I think. Mm, film Critic could be useful. And um, we have an extra astrolabe anyway, so that can go. Friends in high places. Now this is new to me. Install two cards from archives, paying all costs. But it's also a terminal. So, did they want to play that last? Some good cards in archives, that has to be said. And we do get a card out of it as well. Okay, they're going to take two credits. So we can get our clone chip, which allows us to clot lock. It also allows us to get our corroder. But I think for the moment, dirty laundry into here. Uh, get these four, get three credits. And get a draw. Probably ditch the patron, or the, then ditch this. Um, yeah, let's go this into archives. Spend the three clicks. We will. Yeah, drawing for corroder is the best for us. Okay, didn't work out, but we got loads of money, so all good. We'll soon hit a tipping point where we can just um, use everything to put money on Netmarker and then we will be flying it. So Jackson came out, obviously. Which makes sense. They get the purge going. Which also makes sense. Um, So, we are overrun with stop credits now. Uh, we may want to take a look at HQ. They've been drawing quite a bit. And they haven't managed to score anything out yet. And with campaigns and things like that ticking away. Tends to make things pile up a little bit. We need to get rid of this chap before we do another indexing run. And I do want to keep this for clot.
But of course, if we run into a big scary barrier, it may be useful. So, let's run HQ first. We're probably not going to run again. That's okay. Uh, let's get the draw out of it to move in again. So we can net one credit out of our singleton runs. Oops. And I may have spent one too many. Not everything is a fair child. <laughs> this will run, and we will trash that. Um, let's draw. Let's draw. There's our corroder. So, daily cast seems like a decent option. Where do we want the Temujin is the question. It kind of makes everything just that little bit cheaper. But now we really want to be putting the pressure on R&D. Getting our R&D interface is pretty important. Could put it here. Um, we kind of have to take a look and see what's in Server 6. Can put down another cloak, can put down the corroder, and then things are so much cheaper. Another cast. So I think we're just preparing now for our next run. If we have to overwrite a cloak, we will. Would obviously prefer not to. Okay, server 6 is going to be the scoring server. I may have something in there already. So 8 real money, ton of stealth. No RDI to make them think twice about that. Um, how much other money do we have? I think a run is worthwhile. Okay, that's one fair child, but it's going to help our Houdini significantly. Uh, so we will boost break. How many are how many around this? Three. Break and break. Our Houdini is now six power, so it's going to tear through the second Ravana. Heimdall. That is not something I wanted to see. We could triple click. We can, of course, spend a lot of money here. Um, let's go for the clicks. And then we can use one of these. And we'll just break twice. Keep the Ghost Runner and everything else for another day. Yeah. Um, I don't really want to trash because these are all expensive. This seems like the most useful to trash for us at the moment. Breaker Bay, I think, can stay. That could be the biggest mistake I make this game. We will see. And of course, now they can just keep firing things in as well and telling us to come get it. So instead, I think it's time to put pressure elsewhere. They're not going to win off this. So I think it's time to find 
an RDI or a Beth who will give us five clicks. Yeah, this is the one. So Vitruvius comes up. Now we have plenty of money, real and imaginary. We have Temujin, and we know Jackson isn't on the board. But we also don't have an RDI. We could have a little more money. Maybe I'm just too conservative. We could stick this on R&D. Because that is ultimately where we want to run. I think between clicks and all our various sources of money, we should be able to get through. Triple Architect might tax us. And yep, we will boost uh, break three. We'll pay the real money. And then we will do Switchblade all over again. And unfortunately, you just see the one card, but at least now we know what we're dealing with. Eli. Get some money out of it. And there's our RDI. So it's not cheap to get through here. And Eli is not going to make it any better for us. Especially if we want to go for indexing into an R&D run. Nope, they're just going to stockpile here. In which case, 11 credits. So indexing will cost us 2 stealth, 4 stealth. Yeah, indexing is not on the cards, I don't think. I think our best bet is just R and D, or and or and D lock them, uh, the good old fashioned way. Because I don't imagine us getting through this too many times. So we take one cloak. We didn't get the prompt. There we go. Okay. Uh, we will take one, boost, and break three. And then use more stealth for this. So yeah, we need to start stockpiling Netmarker credits. Because our Ghost Runner is about to run out. And four back at least. Friends and high places again. And a food. Unfortunately, no uh, no current in play. 
but we'll take that. Um, cannot remember if this deck plays another cloak or not. So, draw, dirty laundry, could be useful. So we can laundry in here, we'll have enough money to blitz through. And that should keep us in good stead for a little while as well. <laughs> yeah, this is just going to get more and more towery. That's really nice. I do like that. Yeah, Breaker Bay was definitely one to uh, take out early. Just that infinite source of money. But as you can see, it also locks down servers. So, swings and roundabouts. So as it currently stands, we have just enough stealth credits to get through all of this. Do we laundry as well? We've seen Eli. They have six credits. Could be looking at another Fairchild. But we do have the clicks as well. So, I think we go for it. Eli, um, I'm willing to click through here. We're just going to try and keep locking them down, I think. Uh, that. Boost and break. We rock on. We will have to use all of these ultimately. Thankfully, if we see any PD, we can just film critic it. But we'll also make Temujin money back, so we're good. See another Eli. Ugh. And Breaker Bay, another one of them. Um, I think we leave it for the moment. And let's draw again. Here's our freedom. So money is not their downfall anyway. But getting agendas out could be trickier. Now we can get class, but we need a lot of these stealth credits for getting through here. And they can just keep affording to res the good things. So they got their Eli, they got another Burbe. They do feel that they can score. I mean, when they do go for it, there's a good chance we won't be getting through. Uh, maybe, maybe it is time to go for HQ. Well, this is a new look as well. HQ, we could click through the Ravana. We could store up some networker credits. Yeah, I think it's time to get a bit of a stockpile going. Um, actually, we can just do this instead. Pay some of this real money that we've worked so hard for. It's 
probably a low low chance biotic okay maybe we need to keep this uh, this on hand for clot let's draw again all the SMCs uh, draw again another Timusian take a credit pitch that we can pitch the freedom as well uh, or the other SMC we can pitch pretty much anything this could be ash or it could be another breaker bay just as a bit of a bit of a trick I think we need to go R&D again just Try and close this game out. Click, click, spend loads of stealth credits. One, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, let's let's go for it. So we'll spend the clicks because we're doing nothing better with our time. Um, Take that and that. Oh wait, we've left ourselves. Oh no, we're okay. We're okay. Thought I miscalculated for a second. But we have just enough for this run. And hopefully this is the winner because otherwise we could be in a rougher spot. Chrisium, so no Timujan for us. Um, but hopefully a win. Friends of High Places. How many of them are is, is he running? And another Jackson. If we trash the Jackson, we don't have enough to trash the Chrisium. think we have to. Now, of course, he can friends on high places that back. So that was silly. It's Carol, I'm going to have to learn how to uh, play around. So Chrisium's going to make us sad. Um, we may have to cut our losses with this and put Temujin on HQ instead. More ice on R&D. Unfortunately, they're in a good position economy-wise to be able to afford all of this stuff. The endless eaves and Adonis campaigns has made things tricky for us. So we know there's a biotic in hand. We don't know what the other two cards are. So I think... That's going to go get that for HQ. Now that they've committed so much here, we'll zoom out, in fact, just so I can see anything at all. And I think we click through here. And we get the global food in the end. So that was quite a slog. Had it gone much longer, I don't know if we would have managed to pull it out. Just the endless amount of money. Piles of ice that was going on here. It would have been tricky. 
But uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.